In some news are just coming in. Nepal has put an updated map in which it was uh, showing Indian territories as its own on hold. Sources have told Beyond World is One that Nepal's parliament will not be taking up the constitutional amendment on the map. The map can get a legal backing only after a constitutional amendment. However, Nepal has not provided any reason for this latest decision. Our principal diplomatic correspondent Siddhan Sibal now joins us on the phone line for more. Siddhan, talk to us. Uh, this is the latest uh, twist in the story coming in from Nepal. This is a very interesting development because uh, today morning it was on the agenda of the past parliament, uh, the House of Representatives, that uh, they will be taking the constitutional amendment that will give the legal backing when it comes to a map. The new map that was issued by the Nepal government last week that showcases three Indian territories as part of the Nepali territories. What is interesting is, while it was an agenda, suddenly it was removed from uh, the agenda. While there has been no reason given why it has been removed, uh, what is given to understand is uh, uh, that the opposition, Nepali Congress, uh, uh, is saying that while it supports the move, it still needs uh, to be discussed inside the party, inside Nepali Congress, and only then they can uh, back it in the parliament. Uh, well, this is a genuine reason, it seems so, but the delay is something that uh, looks uh, very suspicious when it comes to the entire uh, the agenda which has been put uh, on, the, on, on the government's uh, website because uh, the government only usually puts agenda on the website once it gets a backing in the parliament. Uh, if it doesn't get the backing, it will not rush. So the fact that either the government has rushed into putting the agenda on uh, the, the, the agenda of the parliament or it seems that someone has moved somewhere. Uh, we know this is something that gives a bigger when it comes to India-Nepal diplomatic relationship because this gives uh, time enough for India and Nepal to stick together and chalk out the entire entire problem which arose uh, just few weeks ago after uh, we know that Nepal had strongly protested uh, the Indian Defence Minister opening a road to Lipu Lake, which Nepal says is its own territory. Then, of course, we know that the Indian envoy had met uh, the Nepali Foreign Minister. Uh, then, of course, we have seen twice the Nepali uh, Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli uh, saying that when it comes to COVID crisis in his country, it is because of uh, the uh, right. influx which is happening from India. Siddhan Sibbal getting us the latest on that uh, news break that is coming in here on Beyond World is One.